I'm so fucking tired. Good morning. So I currently look like a wet dog because I'm getting ready for my pop up. I have my matcha here with me. I need the caffeine. I've done a ton of these this year, so I have my routine pretty down. But this is the first time that I'm gonna be vlogging it on YouTube. I just wanna take you guys behind the scenes. I usually do vlogs on TikTok just because they're shorter and I'm lazy but I really want to try out YouTube. So that's why I'm here today. Today is Friday and this is the first time I'm doing this event at this location. I've worked with this organization before at one of their other pop-ups, but this is the first time I'm doing this location. Today is Friday, I got everything prepped on Monday. So if you want to see that vlog, then that is up already. I posted it last week. So feel free to check that out as well. Currently, I'm just getting ready and then I'm going to be heading over to my unit to pick everything up. And then we're gonna head to the location and start setting up. So I'm gonna be taking you through the entire process from now, obviously, to breaking down. Not emotionally, hopefully, but you never know with things like this. I kind of mentioned it in my last video, but my last pop-up I did was back in July and I forgot my table. My coffee spilled everywhere. I wore slides instead of shoes or slippers. Like I just looked a mess. And it was a mess so i know this one is gonna go a lot better i took a lot more time to prep and everything so it's looking good so this pop-up is at ala moana like i said i've never done this location before but i've done one out in haleiwa and i'm so glad that it's not a two-hour drive it's just down the street from where i live so i'm looking forward to that i'm hoping that it goes well the only thing i'm worried about is just because it's at ala moana like literally one of the biggest malls in the world so there's lots of options to shop so really distinguishing like what's different about me and my brand is going to be really important and i'm hoping that all the prep work i did beforehand is going to help me with that again we'll see i love doing pop-ups just because i get to see everyone and talk to you guys and it's just so much fun getting to know you seeing you guys try on our pieces hearing feedback i love all of that stuff i'm gonna finish my hair off camera and then i'll come back okay i'm back and i have to get dressed because i am running late i'm gonna figure out what bikini i want to wear today this is the first one i grabbed so i'm wearing this one this is like my go-to it's my favorite one i'm obsessed with this color and it just looks so good i'm running late which is super embarrassing because i've done so many pop-ups where they start at 9 a.m at like a 7 a.m setup time and i always make it to those on time with time to spare usually but the one that starts at 1 p.m set up time is at 11 a.m that's the one i'm running late to i do have two hours to set up everything and that's way more than enough time so I'm, i guess technically i'm not running that late but i'm not as ahead of schedule as i like to be the only thing i don't like about this is you can't really see the bikini charm but that's okay it's probably gonna be the outfit i'm like sweating already and i haven't done any hard work I'm gonna finish doing my hair and then we'll be on our way to my unit to pick up everything and we'll start set up. Okay, we're at our location finally. I didn't show too much of prepping just because it was a lot going on and not much to see really. So we're here. Um, I just dropped off our tent and stuff. My dad is helping me set that up and I'm just gonna be here getting all of my inventory and just everything else that I need to take to my booth. I'm out of breath. I'm so hot, it's so sweaty. I changed into this sweater so I wouldn't have any like nip slips. So I'm struggling, I'm struggling, but it's okay. We're gonna get it done. Got the sign, we fixed the typo over here, so it's good to go. And then here we are. This is all of our pieces. Uh, most of them are in extra small just because that fits the hanger the best, but anyone can try on any other size. And then I just have the two different lengths of our cover-ups here as well, so they can see that without opening it. Okay, this is our second sign right here. It's looking so good. I'm so happy it worked out. And then we have a little pricing sign right here, all of our accessories, so our hats, our bikini charms, we have glasses, all of our claw clips, and then we have our cover-ups right on the bottom there. Okay, this is where it gets annoying 
So I have all my totes lined up here. Our mannequin friend is right there. I forgot my sign stand. I don't know how, I swear I had it, and then it just disappeared. So my dad went to go back home and find it, and if not, then it's just gonna be blank, unless I put something else here. But yeah, that's so, not only annoying, but embarrassing, because how? Anyways, I have my little mirror set up here, which is right behind it, so it stays. And then I have my pop-up changing tent so people can actually try on all of our pieces. And then here's our table really quick. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit more, but this is our magazine. Some really quick look through of all of our pieces, all of our models, sizing charts, stuff like that. Then we have this business card and then our electronic business card that they can scan. And then just another pricing sign and this reminder that every purchase equals a pound of plastic move from our oceans. And then hand sanitizer in case. Uh, my inventory is all back here and that's just my chair and all of our packaging so i don't know where to put this mirror but i'll figure it out okay the market starts in about 20-ish minutes so i have a little bit of time to just relax hopefully get my sign up but if not it's okay we're just gonna go with the flow and we're gonna see how it goes i'm sure it's gonna be a great market everyone here is so nice super sweet i'll give you an update once the market starts update my dad found it so now i can put up my sign okay now the setup is complete okay update it's been 20 minutes and we're signed down so hopefully that's not a bad omen but <laughs> i'll update you later hi guys it's about halfway through the market um it's been a little bit slow i'm not gonna lie we've had a couple sales but it hasn't been a big crowd um hoping that the second half is busier than the first half but we'll roll with the punches it's okay um, nothing to really update you guys about. Nothing's really happened besides the broken sign. But yeah, I've been meeting some really cool people and just having some fun. I hope you can hear me. I'll update you later. You can probably tell by how bad the lighting is, but it is a lot later. I think there's less than an hour left of the market. Unfortunately, it did not pick up. It's been slow this entire time. It's even worse now, I think. So not our best market. I'm gonna tell you right now, spoiler alert, uh, we did not make a profit today, but that's okay. It's part of the process. I wasn't expecting huge numbers as much as I would have loved that, but you win some, you lose some, it's okay. I'm gonna just sit around for another hour. I'll let you know if there's any big updates, but again, highly doubt it. Um, I'll see you guys when I'm packing up, probably. See ya. It's finally six. I was the longest half an hour of my life, but we can finally put stuff away. So let's wrap up and go home because I'm so fucking tired. Okay, we're back home. It was a long day. It was a long day. It was a hot day. It just, this was the worst market I've ever done. I was talking to one of my other friends that was there and she said she's done the last two at that location and it's been so busy and so good. And today was just dead and we don't know why. So at least I know it wasn't just me. Everyone is feeling it. Like I said, you win some, you lose some. I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. I'm not gonna be like, oh my God, it was so awesome when it really wasn't. That was a slow day slow market probably won't be doing that one again i just like trying out new markets and new locations to see like what works what doesn't and now that i kind of have an idea of what does i know what not to do again it's all a work in progress i think my biggest issue with shirai right now is we're about to celebrate two years i think for the majority of that period i was treating shirai more like a hobby than something i actually want to pursue and now that i'm doing that more i feel a lot more confident and just happy with my brand and I think I'm gonna, I not I think, I know I'm gonna start seeing a lot more progress. So yeah, that was just a look into what a typical market day looks like. I know I didn't film too much just because it was one, pretty boring. Overall, good day, you know, made sales. I wouldn't have made otherwise if I was just sitting at home. So looking on the bright side, running a business isn't easy, especially when you're just starting out and you don't have connections, you don't have mentorship, you don't have anything. It's so easy to compare and I've 
realize like I'm on my own journey you know I'm not on the same path as anyone else and I think that's a beautiful thing and I'm excited to see what's in store for me it's in store for Shirai I'm gonna end my tangent thanks so much for joining me today I had so much fun with you guys if you have a small business drop it down in the comments I'd love to see what you guys sell or what you guys do be sure to like this video if you like this video if you want to see more videos and you want to see more of me just hit that subscribe button that's pretty much it I'm so tired I'm going to bed as soon as possible so good night and i'll see you next time bye